Yeah, welcome to this video against the Yardbird. Let's see, Eric Lobron, GM. He's basically retired from, from tournament chess. I'm not quite sure why. Um, haven't seen him playing for Check. a long time. But he's very active here on the internet, playing on the ICC. I don't know, maybe on other platforms, but he's, he's a very frequent player on the ICC. So um, we have an, a pretty ancient version of the Nimzo Zemisch, and it's uh, usually considered to be quite quite good for white, this, uh, this position. But uh, okay, let's see. Knight to g3 to play e4 or should I take yeah let's let's take here and play queen here this is um, a simple way to play this is uh, very similar to the absolutely classic game um, Budvinik against uh, Capablanca from oh, is it 19 38 I'm not sure about the year I all, I know these games but I'm, I sometimes I get confused with the with the years um okay um this this was the classic game where at the end Botvinnik played with Bishop a3 this very uh, well known long sacrificial um, line okay here my idea is to play e4 I'm trying to to get this uh, this perfect pawn center but I need to support my my center here so that I can play e4. And I hope that next move I, <laughs> I can finally play it. E4 and then e5 and then knight e4. This is the the thing that white is is, is planning. I played rook d1 because after e4 takes takes knight c5 was a tactical idea that you need to be aware of. This is why I played rook d1 to cover the queen. So I'm not sure what he's supposed to do now. Maybe queen c7, something like that. Intending, ah, oh, but I have, I have rook c1. Hmm, yeah, I thought queen c7 intending queen c2 or queen c4. Hmm, I don't know, e4. I always like this uh, kind of position for white, I must uh, admit, with e4 it always seems to me uh, to be da dangerous for black. Okay, let's see what he's coming up with. Those knights can, can be really clumsy if white, yeah. This is a rather typical idea, attacking the knight. Yeah, I still think I should do that. It's, uh, if I don't play e4, this uh, whole thing doesn't make much sense. Maybe there's some tactical idea now, possible. Like g6, yeah, or <laughs> this kind of stuff, muddying, muddying the waters. But, um, okay, ah, well, okay, e5, he wants to take here. Okay, probably, probably, uh, let's, let's do that. This, uh, of course, helped black to some extent. I play e5, if I played e5, I would have taken on g2, and I cannot recapture because of knight f4. So, hmm. But now he always has this this very annoying pawn here, like queen g2 mate. <laughs> it's uh, it's far away from that I know, but uh, still. Um, and e5, yes. E5. Yeah, there it is, queen g2 mate. <laughs> uh, okay, I've got. Uh, Oh, yeah, I have knight e3, but yeah, he's such a tricky player. 
I have played him very often and uh, he's, he's, he's getting outplayed also really often, but he's very tricky. Uh, okay, what to do now? Knight e3. Uh, he's got this, this bloody check here. Yeah, king f2. Uh, I don't know. Queen e, queen e2. Yeah, queen e2 looks looks bad somehow. What is this next move? If I play like this, come on, let's do that. Yeah, I didn't. Ah, queen d5. Knight f e4 or something. This bloody pawn on h3, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I knew that this uh, could could be uh, could be the big issue. Okay, yeah. And now if I move the rook, he's getting rook e5. Great, great. So I need to go to c2. Yeah. Maybe knight knight e3 I could have considered. Hmm. Yeah, this is hanging on d4. Um, is this a possibility? No. Hmm. Knight e7, huh? somehow knight e7. Uh, it isn't, it isn't a trick here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I have it, still have it covered, d4. There's absolutely no way to get, get rid of this. To get rid of this pawn. Or play, I go here, he's taking on d4. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see a move here, a good one. Cannot move this. This is allows. I don't see a move. What the heck? Morning. Check. No, oh, I didn't see the check. Yeah, many ways to win now. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Check. White forfeits on time. Yeah, now let's have a look uh, how, how to avoid that. 
because um, I'm pretty sure that this cannot be too great for black. But um, so <clears throat> so d5 is the move, okay? And white is in, in excellent shape, but okay, but uh, it's it's I simply queen d5. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, d5 is the right move. White is almost winning here, but um, the thing is, you 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 feel that this is bad for black. Yeah? I mean, he's giving me a perfect center. This knight is excellent. This bishop is excellent, and uh, there should be something. But I just played e5 too quickly. I'm I'm ahead on the clock here, and I completely overlooked um, queen d5. If he doesn't have queen d5, black is busted for nothing. But uh, this completely turns the table. Okay, this is even this is still better for white, according to the comp. But uh, okay, this is very tricky now. And um, but this is this is very strong. The idea is after takes, there's d6. Yeah, this is this is strong, of course. Everything's perfect now. So this kind of idea. Yeah, but this is this is difficult for a blitz game. In a tournament game, this is pretty clear. If you have when if you have some minutes to figure out um, what's going on here. But okay, I completely overlooked Queen D5, so this this really led into into trouble immediately. So now, yeah. But, uh, Knight e3 now. Um, knight e3 is winning again. But uh, I thought, what? What's the problem? I have got queen d1. Ah, so I've got simply queen to d1 here. I only I thought knight d4 and thought, okay, this is not on. Check. <laughs> but I can go to d1, of course. So then, then it's pretty clear that this is also good for white. Where is he going? Something like this is, uh, is, is, is. I've got a center. It's worth something. Yeah, this this kind of stuff is um, is excellent for white. The knights don't have any um, support. Okay, so I only spoiled it later. Even this was right. Yeah, but this is very, very tough to play. Now, why didn't I take this? Yeah, because I had 15 seconds, probably. <laughs> I should simply take this. I mean, just just for getting rid of one of those uh, terrible knights. And now here, this is in fact um, still quite, quite nice for white with the center. So, yeah, it's uh, still playable. Okay, but I was so down on time. It's uh, of course this queen d5 is a very important resource. This intermediate move. Okay, yeah, well, an interesting game. It's always interesting to play against him. He's uh, a very inventive player. Thanks for watching.